Oklahoma is a state of excellence, and Oklahoma Panhandle State University is no exception. Nestled in the center of the Oklahoma Panhandle, OPSU offers degrees and educational opportunities designed to prepare students for roles in agriculture, business, education, government, and industry, and help to enrich students' personal lives. With a long history of success in academic competition, OPSU produces academic teams that excel in all areas of academia. Tonight we will highlight the School of Business and Technology, focusing on the Computer Information Systems and Business Administration programs. The CIS degree began in 1982 with the hiring of one faculty member, Diane Murphy, to start a degree program in the then emerging field of CIS based upon curriculum guidelines as suggested by the Data Processing Management Association, now known as the Association of Information Technology Professionals, or AITP. In the school year of 1983-84, the Oklahoma State Regents of Higher Education approved a bachelor's degree in CIS for OPSU. Since that time, OPSU has developed a legacy of producing a highly qualified and well-prepared workforce in all areas of IT. Tonight, some of our graduates will share their experiences. I enrolled at Panhandle State University in the CIS program in 1981. I then was hired on at age 20 as IT director at South Plains College. And in 1990, then I came back to the Panhandle State area and since then, I've worked uh, with banks, insurance companies, oil fields, um, doing database programming and networking and miscellaneous IT-related projects. I'm also an IT director at the university. Upon graduation, I was employed by a medical research firm in Oklahoma City. Those successful years resulted in my career path expanding and leading software development and service teams in other Oklahoma, Texas, and Colorado startup-based organizations. My OPSU life was more than just a degree. It was a positive impact that grew me as an individual and put me on the career path that I continue to work at and enjoy each day. My experience of classroom life was more than just open the book to page 139, but rather it brought about strong personal friendships with faculty, staff, and fellow students that continue to this very day. I completed my master's program at Southwestern and returned to OPSU as faculty to help Diane make the CIS program into the great one it is today. In 1997, I moved to Durant to teach in the computer science program at Southeastern Oklahoma State University. Over the years, Diane and I have presented at national and international conferences in Dallas, Philadelphia, Atlanta, and Brussels, Belgium, just to name a few. We continue to stay in touch with each other and our students from the past. After earning my degree at Goodwell, I worked the next 16 years in the Oklahoma higher ed system, first at Panhandle State for four years, and then at OneNet for nine years, and finally at OU for three years. My family and I moved to Omaha, Nebraska in late 2009 to be closer to her family and because I was offered a job by Cisco Systems. It's now been three and a half years since we moved to Omaha and I continue to work as a systems engineer for Cisco. It's a pre-sales engineering role and I enjoy it very much. My degree at Panhandle State along with the faculty and staff there and the years of service to the Oklahoma higher ed system prepared me very well to excel in a career at a top technology company in the world. There are now no limits to what I can accomplish with my career at Cisco and beyond. The firm foundation that I found both as a student and as an employee in Oklahoma has prepared me and served me well for 22 years. The education I received at OPSU provided me a comprehensive foundation and skills in database structure and computer systems that I use daily. Without the solid foundation in software, database structure, and how software interacts with databases I gained at OPSU, I would not have been able to advance to my current job responsibilities and gain the respect and confidence of my peers. With a growing department and a demand for graduates, Matthew Carter joined the CIS department in 1994 as its third faculty 
and was soon followed by Steve Martin in 1996, who replaced Pam Farndorf. Also in 1994, the Student Computer Club began to compete in regional and national contests sponsored by AITP. Their success led to the creation of the OPSU programming team to represent the university in these competitions. Tonight's featured graduates all honed their skills and made professional contacts by competing as the OPSU programming team. Hello, my name is Paul Jacobs, a 2000 graduate of uh, OPSU with a degree in computer information systems. Currently a network technician with Epic Touch Company out of Elkhart, Kansas and have been for the last 12 years. OPSU taught me how to handle the business world and the always changing world of technology. I've always appreciated the opportunity to have been a part of the CIS department at OPSU. I learned many valuable tools and life lessons that I will always carry with me. The six technicians in my department are responsible for engineering, installing, upgrading, maintaining, troubleshooting, and evaluating IP-related equipment utilized in all PTCI services. My education at OPSU gave me the broad-spectrum knowledge of several aspects inside the world of CIS. That educational foundation played an essential role in acquiring a job that has allowed me to actively progress my knowledge in all areas initially introduced to me at OPSU. In 1996, OPSU sent its first graduate to Houston to work on the NASA campus as an IT professional. Since that time, OPSU has had 13 CIS graduates hired to work for the NASA space program. Four of these graduates have received Employee of the Month awards for extraordinary service to the U.S. space program. This is Tommy Johnson. I graduated Panhandle back in 2004. I work at, down in Houston at Johnson Space Center as the Systems Administrator for the Emergency Operations Center. It, long story short, I am the full-blown system administrator for anything that the physical security department needs. Had a lot of good memories of Panhandle, learned a lot. Oh, Matthew Carter teaching all the tricks on making patch cables, which still used to this day. Joe Breeden letting me play with servers and let me do anything to break them just so I'd have to fix them. That was great life experience. And then Diane and her dreaded systems requirements document that was terrifying at the time, but now, after doing them so many times, I can knock one out in a weekend. Uh, learned a lot at Panhandle. I'm grateful for everything that, you know, for all my experiences there. Seeing continued growth in enrollment and demand for ID professionals, Joe Breeden became the fourth full-time faculty member. In 2008, the department was approved a computer graphics option in technology the first four-year computer graphics program approved in Oklahoma Regional Institutions. I work in offices in Orange County and LA in California. I do graphic design, basic animations, branding, presentations, etc. The benefit of OPSU was low cost and teachers that would gladly take extra time out of class to help, even years later when you're not even at school. It's not a common thing at the big expensive universities that some might look up to. My name is Dustin Hudson. I graduated from OPSU in 2006 with a bachelor's degree in CIS. At the time, I worked for Seaboard Foods, first in the plant, then in the live production office. Now I work for the corporate office here in Kansas City as a senior systems analyst. My time at Oklahoma Panhandle State University helped me learn the skills that I needed for my career. In that time, I learned the important things like coding, technology, hardware, and the like. But more importantly, I learned how to research, how to design, and how to manage a project from start to finish. I am employed by Gable Gottwals, a law firm in Oklahoma City and Tulsa, which was recently named the 2012 Best Place to Work in Oklahoma, Small Employer Category, as an IT support specialist. I believe OPSU has been an integral part of where I am right now in my career. The best thing I was able to take from OPSU was a problem-solving mindset that has allowed me to confidently digest the information needed to pick up on many new technologies that I've never touched in a classroom environment or that were likely not even available at the time. Since graduation, I have been employed at B&W Pantex in Amarillo, Texas. I am currently working as the team lead for the OS and VMware Blade teams. I'm also the system administrator for all Linux, AIX, and VMware ESX I4 and 5. OPSU professors helped me get ready for any environment I was going to be working in. Since OPSU covered a wide area of subjects, it helped me easily adapt to any job. Mark Moore. 
I graduated in 2005 with a bachelor's in CIS. I work on the property and casualty claim systems. Alan Roberts. Jan Van Friedenberg. I am currently leading offshore resources and involved in design development and maintenance on the CRM application. Blake Westbrook. With my degree and the opportunities I had at AITP, I was able to procure a job at USAA as a system management engineer. Manuel Carranza. I was recruited by USAA at an AITP event my senior year at OPSU and entered USAA's College New Hire program. The diverse variety of courses offered at OPSU and the faculty's dedication to their students helped me prepare for my career. Pamela Gutierrez. I was hired after doing an interview at the 2011 National AITP Conference. OPSU's guidance in participating in various opportunities helped prepare me for a future career. In 2005, the CIS program was recognized by the Oklahoma State Regents of Higher Education as one of four programs of excellence of Oklahoma regional institutions. The department was awarded a Brain Game Excellence Award, which continues to allow curriculum and equipment upgrades and faculty development to support the program. Vicki Pascal was hired during this time as the department's fifth full-time faculty member. Two local utility co-ops, PTCI and Tri-County Electric, have hired several OPSU CIS grads. I graduated in 1996 with a Bachelor's of Business Administration and in 1999 with a Computer Information degree. I am an IT specialist here at Tri-County and more or less what I do is help take care of the TWAX database. OPSU kind of helped me get ready for this job with um, with my networking classes, Visual Basic classes. Access was one of my favorite classes and that kind of helped me with the database part of the job. I graduated OPSU with a Bachelor's of Business Administration in 2003. Uh, I currently work for Tri-County Electric in Hooker, Oklahoma. Um, I manage uh, six employees. Uh, I feel that OPSU has had a long-standing reputation for producing qualified uh, IT professionals and that paired with their, their faculty's efforts in, uh, in looking for local and, and jobs for all other graduates helped me uh, get this position. I'm a system administrator at Tri-County Electric in Hooker, Oklahoma. Tri-County had previously hired a CIS graduate from OPSU and had good experience with him, so I think that helped me get the job, along with OPSU graduates having a good reputation in the area and the faculty helping me find positions that were available. I work at OPSU in Goodwell, Oklahoma. I started at OPSU as webmaster in 2008. While working here, I have also acquired additional responsibilities in becoming institutional research director. Diane and others' encouragement and help is what got me to stick my foot in the door in the first place. I started as an industrial tech major, but the flexibility of my advisors and in scheduling allowing me to explore other options in computer graphics and programming is what led me to where I am now. I am currently employed with the Walt Disney Company in Orlando, Florida as a resident guest service manager. The faculty and clubs on campus provided many opportunities for growth and development, both personally and professionally. The faculty was always interested in the students' performance and areas of opportunity so they could better prepare us for our future. The professors assist students with minor things like proofing resumes and major things like taking us on trips for AITP, where we could network and interview for future jobs or internships. Many people think that attending such a small university will not give you a real-world experience, but I have found that everything I experienced in my four years at OPSU shaped me into a prepared graduate ready to take on the real world. I manage the agenda for the Oklahoma State Senate during session. Otherwise, I work in the IT department as an information system specialist. My position was awarded to the applicant that scored the highest on the computer literacy test administered by the Senate IT director. Without a doubt, I earned my position because of the knowledge and skills I learned at the OPSU CIS department. The latest addition to the CIS curriculum is a university-level Cisco Academy. This program provides training for not just CIS students, but also local networking pr professionals. As we wind down tonight's program, we would like to recognize the Business Administration Academic Team, Phi Beta Lambda. PBL was recently reorganized and has competed in state and national contests. In 2012, 
They received seven top five awards at state and one national reward. In the recent state contest, OPSU's PBL brought home 15 individual first place awards, seven second place, and three third place awards. They plan to compete in PBL nationals in July of this year. Diane, Joe, Matt, Steve, and everyone else there helped me figure out the path that I needed and what steps to take to get to where I am now. Without the expertise and support of the instructors in the department, I would not have had the knowledge or the confidence to uh, have the success of my opportunities that I've had here at Epic Touch Company. I want to extend a special thank you to all of those who have had a career and had a hand in higher ed in Oklahoma and who continue to do so. Thank you so much.